Hey friends, welcome back. It's Kate with Sewing From Scratch and today I am going to tell you all about my latest Sew YYC pattern printing haul. <laughs> So obviously showing you a big roll of paper is not very exciting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read through my list of what I got printed and I will pop up pictures on the screen as I'm talking about them and I'll kind of tell you a bit of my plans as well. One of them I have already sewn up so I will show that to you guys here as well. Before we get started I want to mention one quick thing and that is make sure you give this video some love so that this channel can continue to run and the ways you can do that are by liking this video, sharing this video on social media, tag me on Instagram, I would love to reshare that for you, and subscribing to my channel. And make sure that you do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell because very, very soon there is going to be a big big giveaway coming and I would really hate for you to miss that. There's going to be a video dedicated just to that giveaway and you don't want to miss it so hit the subscribe button and that little notification bell so you know when a video is posted and you can watch for that giveaway announcement. Alright, let's get to it. So, so YYC was on a bit of a hiatus because of, you know, our girl Rona and uh, I was, oh, I was missing her so bad, but Deb came through and opened back up as we knew she would and I'm sure she was just as eager to get printing as we were for her to get printing again and so I placed a pretty big order and I'm going to tell you what I got now. I'm just going to go through what's on the list. So the first thing on the list is the Greer Jumpsuit from Hey June Handmade. It is a new pattern, their newest pattern from Hey June and it released, uh, I guess, it back in May. And there's two versions. There's like a, the version that I made is like a sleeveless v-neck version and I made the sh shorts length. And then there's also the comfy overall size overall style version and it has kind of a lower crotch so it's really cozy comfy and I made this version in uh, linen from Blackbird Fabrics. It is the color tobacco and I don't know I love it it's comfy and cozy and looks good and everything but I don't know if the color is doing anything for me so my next one will probably be in something a little more me I guess but yeah love it overall and uh I'll be wearing it all summer. And I will probably be making more of these jumpsuits because it came together really quick and fun and easy and fast. And it was a new technique for me doing the bias binding on the v-neck. So that was kind of fun to push myself on that. All right, next I got the Arden pants and this is another new pattern. This one is from Helen's Closet and I am so excited to make a pair of these. I'm going to be making them in an olive color linen and I just love them. They have an elastic waist and they're basically a woven jogger. So, I mean, can you go wrong with that if you make it with like linen or something? No, you can't. So yeah, I picked myself that up. That also came out in May, I think like within a few days of the Greer jumpsuit. So yeah, I was really excited to get that printed and it's gonna be one of my next makes. So stay tuned. And then I ordered a bunch of seamwork patterns. So I ordered the Orlando top. The bonus is taking the Orlando t-shirt and making it into, uh, oh my goodness, why can't I think of the word? Um, a cat suit is what I want to say. It's not a cat suit. Um, Bodysuit. Holy man. Bodysuit. So that's my plan with the Orlando is to make some bodysuits. I do plan to have to adjust for length. I have a longer torso than what my body is proportionate to. Does that make sense? My torso is long, so I do expect to have to add length to that. Um, but I'm excited to have some bodysuits that actually fit me because anytime I've like tried them on or bought any in the store, they have been too short. I actually have one that I need to lengthen the crotch on. But anyway, that's the plan for that. I don't have any um, fabric in mind. I will probably look for something once I can go shop thrift shopping again. But yeah, so that's the Orlando. 
The next seam work pattern I got was the Nolan pants as well as the bonus because I have been wanting to make these for a long time. Well, since they came out, I guess. And the Nolan pants come with like a zip fly and then the bonus is um, button fly and my plan is to hack these into shorts. And if you're not sure what I'm talking about, about seam work, I actually have, I've mentioned seam work in a lot of videos, but it's a membership type place community and they have patterns there as well as like uh, community forums and classes and everything like that and you don't have to join a membership you can just buy their patterns separately but then you don't get all the extras and to get the bonuses you do need to be a member and as well with your membership comes fabric discounts so I mentioned in my blackbird fabric haul that I got like $33 off from my order and that was uh, like that's like three times the cost of the membership per month so check out the link in my description box I always have it linked there for you guys I will link also to that blackbird fabric haul video because I talk a little bit more about it there but yeah I have a link down below where you guys can get some money off your first month and the prices are really really affordable so check it out even if you buy like the unlimited plan and then you know you download the patterns that you like for a month and then you decide like the rest really isn't for you I mean that's fine right but yeah head down into the description box check out that link go to seamwork see all the patterns they have they have a ton and if that is interesting to you then definitely use my link because it helps me out too anyway the Nolan pants I do have some denim but I don't think it's enough I think I'm actually gonna make that denim into a pair of jean shorts for my girl I have some green bull denim again that I showed in my blackbird fabrics fabric haul that I am going to be making my Nolan pants with I just have to do some muslins first and I really should get on that because I have like one and a half pairs of shorts so I should probably make those Nolan pants. They're just, it's intimidating making like woven shorts that I want to fit me really well. It's not really intimidating. It's just, I know it's going to be work and you know, sewing fast things is always at the top of the list. The next thing I got from Seamwork were the Heidi shorts. These are like a pleated short. I'm trying to remember. I think, yeah, I think they're pleated short. And I don't really have anything in mind for this. I do have some other linens that would be really fun for that. Maybe white, I'm not sure yet. But I did get that pattern printed at the same time. Because again, like I said, I need some more shorts in my wardrobe. Then I also don't really have any skirts that I like in my closet. So I got the Jenna skirt as well as the Zinnia. The Jenna skirt um, I actually have plans to make soon and I'm gonna use, I think, a turquoise linen again that was in the Blackbird fabric haul and I'm gonna make that it's like a nice gathered waist skirt it'll be nice and breezy and fun to wear for summertime and then the zinnia I don't really have plans for but I wanted to get it printed because again I need some skirts in my closet that I can wear through the summer all right and then the rest are Mimi G patterns okay so I got the Lexi from Mimi G and that's like uh I'm looking at it right now it's like a really loose fitting jumpsuit type thing with it is a jumpsuit not a jumpsuit type thing it is a jumpsuit and it has um, long sleeves and cuffs at the sleeve and at the ankle so it's just like I guess kind of what you would picture like an old-school jogging suit to be and like a two-piece but it's one piece and it has the elastic around the waist so I think it's gonna be really really fun and cozy and it'll serve me well so I'm excited to make that probably not till the fall I need some more like fall winter jumpsuits so that's probably going to hang out till then I also got the Jessica dress from Mimi G and I'm sure you've seen this but I'll pop it up here anyway this is kind of iconic Mimi G and I am really excited to make some sort of version in this I don't have any plans quite yet maybe like July August we'll see or it might sit around till next year but I am excited to make it I also got the Gosling and this is obviously for my husband and I bought it because I thought it was similar to a shirt that he has that he has asked me to recreate which of course I could like rub it off and everything and it would be great but then I saw this and I was like oh let's try this and see if he likes it and then he tells me that it's nothing like the shirt that he has 
<laughs> but I still will try it on him and because maybe he'll like it and I can adapt it to what he d likes or doesn't like um, I probably will still have to rub off the one that he does like because it's different from this one but anyway we'll see how it fits I have not really sewn much for him uh, in terms of like a nice fitted shirt so I'm excited to find him some fabric that he likes and make up a shirt for him he's not a fancy guy so this will be like you know the casual type like going out to a restaurant or something type of shirt which we like never do but it's a little nicer than a t-shirt kind of thing and then I got the Riri swimsuit which yeah, after I bought it, I'm like, oh, this looks a lot like the Oasis from Ellie and Mac. Yeah, it's like nearly identical, and I already have the Oasis. So, whatever, now I have two. Uh, and then the last thing I got on the list printed was the Mimi G Saldana. I hope I'm saying that right. It's a very, very cool color blocked shirt. It has like color block on the shoulders and stuff. And I am very excited to make that. I do have some fabric that I could make it with already. And I think I should do that soon because again, I don't have any like, just like casual easy wear t-shirts in my sewing wardrobe. So probably do that. Anyway, that is all I ordered all I ordered on from So I Was See. So I got 24 and a half pages printed and it was $96. I did get them rolled because it just worked out cheaper that way, I guess. I usually do put folded and then Deb is really great at telling you like, hey, you're ordering this much, it actually works out cheaper if I roll it. So then she does that. And all the patterns were just in black and white so I didn't get color, so they were five bucks a page. And then, but yeah, I don't know, it works, whatever, whatever. She does her thing, I was happy with the price. I was happy to support her because I love her business and I can't wait to get some more summer sewing done. So leave me a comment down below. Do you use Sew YYC if you are in Canada? If you are not in Canada, who do you, you use to print your patterns? And uh, do they add a personal touch like a handwritten note at the end? I wanna know. Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Again, I am just waiting on a few more things for the 1,000 subscriber giveaway and then it'll be time to do that announcement video. So hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on that gigantic giveaway. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.